One of the components in pre-calculus is the analytic geometry, focused mainly in the conic section or conics. In this video, I'll be teaching you how these conics were being formed and how can we apply these concepts in real life. I will teach you also how are we going to identify what type of conics is being illustrated given just the general equation even without the graph. So just take around and I will teach you how. In this video, I will be talking about uh, the different conic sections or conics. So these are the different types of conics. Circle, parabola, ellipse, and hyperbola. How can we apply conics in real life? So these are some applications of uh, conic section in real life, but not limited to the following. So first, this, is, this infrastructure applies the concept of hyperbola. And this satellite disk applies the concept of parabola. And this Ferris wheel applies the concept of circle. And this stadium applies the concept of an ellipse. And this nuclear power plant applies the concept of a hyperbola. And this Eiffel Tower applies the concept of hyperbola and a parabola. And this infrastructure applies the concept of parabola. And this infrastructure applies the concept of circle and also the parabola. And of course, log applies the concept of parabola. And even our solar system, according to Johannes Kepler, our solar system is an elliptical. Let us refresh our knowledge about the cone. A cone is a three-dimensional figure or a solid figure with a vertex and a circular base. Suppose we have a fixed line, the blue one. And we also have another line, which is the red one. And these two lines intersect at a particular point. If this uh, red line rotates around the fixed line, this red line forms two double right circular cones. So these are the parts of the two double circular cones. The fixed line, we call it as the axis. The common points, we call it a vertex. And the red line that rotates, that forms this two circular cone, is the generator. The angle formed by the axis and the generator is the vertex angle, while the circumference of the base is the directrix. The conic sections or conics. The conic section is obtained if a plane is made to cut the double right circular cone. If the plane does not pass through the vertex of the cone, then the conic section form are a circle, an ellipse, a parabola, or a hyperbola. So when the cutting plane is perpendicular to the axis of the cone, suppose this is the axis of the cone, and the cutting plane is perpendicular to that one, the blue one is the cutting plane, so the conic section form is a circle. When the cutting plane is parallel to the side of the cone, suppose this is the side of the cone, and the cutting plane is parallel to it, so the conic section form is a parabola. When the cutting plane is an oblique to the axis of the cone, that is called ellipse. Hyperbola, when the cutting plane is parallel to the axis of the cone. When the cutting plane is parallel to the axis of the two right circular cones, it forms a circle. However, there is a special case in which the cutting planes will pass through the vertex of the cone. So there are three scenarios. So the conics being formed here, we call it degenerate conics. First scenario, it will form a point. If the cutting plane perpendicular to the axis will pass through the vertex of the cone. Secondly, if the cutting plane if is not perpendicular to the axis, it, it cutting an ellipse, and this uh, cutting plane will pass through the vertex, this will make a line. And lastly, if the cutting planes will passes through the vertex and intersects both the top and bottom halves of the cone. These cutting planes move to the vertex. This will form a two intersecting lines. So these are the different degenerate conics, namely a point, a line, and the two intersecting lines.
So all conics follows the same general equation, which is ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero, where a, b, c, d, e, and f are all constants or real numbers. And as we change the values of the same constant, the shape of the corresponding conic se section will also change. It is important to know the difference in the equations to help quickly identify the type of conics that is represented by the given equation even without graphing the given equation. By just looking into the general equation of the conics, we can classify them. Given, in this case, we consider that b is equal to 0. So this table would really help us how are we going to identify them. So in this case, we just focus only on the coefficient of the terms that are being squared particularly the x squared and y squared. So a is the coefficient of the x squared and c is the coefficient of y squared. When do we know that the given general equation of conics, even without the graph, is the graph of a circle? The equation given is an equation of circle if a is equal to c. The coefficient of x squared is equal to the coefficient of y squared. When do we know that the equation given is the equation of a parabola? So if a is equal to 0, which means there's no term with x squared, and c is not equal to 0, or c is equal to 0, which means there's no term with y squared, and that equation is the equation of parabola. An equation of an ellipse, if A and C have the same sign, is either both positive or both negative. And lastly, hyperbola, if A and C have opposite sign. So let's try to uh, classify these different types of conics based on this given general equation. So example number 1, x squared plus 3y squared minus 4x plus 6y minus 13 is equal to 0. So without graphing this equation, we will be determining what type of conics is this equation. So by just looking into the coefficient of x squared and y squared, so from this equation, our a is equal to positive 1, our c is equal to positive 3, and as you can see, a and c are not equal, and they have the same sign. Therefore, we can say that this equation is an equation of an ellipse. And this is the graph of this uh, general equation of the ellipse. Let's take an example. So 3x squared plus 3y squared plus 6x plus 6y minus 4 is equal to 0. So as you can see, our a is equal to 3. The coefficient of y squared is equal also to 3. And both of them are having the same sign. Therefore, we can say that this equation is an equation of circle. Therefore, circle is somewhat a special type of ellipse. This is the graph of this particular equation. So next example, 4y squared minus 2x plus 8y plus 10 is equal to 0. So in this case, a is 0 because there is no x squared term here. So a is equal to 0. And since y squared, its coefficient is 4, and that would be our c. So in this case, this equation is an equation of parabola. So this is the graph of that equation. Number 4, 3x squared plus 5x minus y plus 2 is equal to 0. So in this case, our a, the coefficient of x squared is equal to 3. And we don't have c because we don't have y squared term. So this equation is still an equation of parabola. So this is the graph of this equation. Next example, 5x squared minus 4y squared minus 10x plus 16y minus 20 is equal to 0. The coefficient of x squared is 5, positive 5. The coefficient of y squared, which is our c, is negative 4. They are in opposite sign. Therefore, we can say that this equation is an equation of a hyperbola. Next example, negative x squared minus y squared plus 3x minus 5y plus 20 is equal to 0. So our a is negative 1, the coefficient of x squared. Our c is negative 1 also, which is the coefficient of y squared. And they are equal. Therefore, this equation is an equation of a circle. So in determining, a co uh, in determining the type of conics based on the given equation, we just look into again in the coefficient of x squared and y squared. 
if the coefficient of x squared and y squared are equal, so that equation is an equation of a circle. If they are not equal and they are same signs, that equation is an equation of an ellipse. If they are not equal and they are in opposite sign, that equation is an equation of hyperbola. If x squared is present and there is no y squared, or if y squared is present and there is no x squared, that equation is an equation of a parabola. Those are the hints in determining the type of conics being illustrated by the general equation even without graphing first the equation of the conics. Graphing of the different types of conics will be discussed in a different videos. If you like this video, kindly hit the like button and in the comment section, kindly send me your thoughts about this video and how can I possibly help you in learning this lesson in an easy way. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.